you can send your respondents yourself or members of your team follow-up messages once a form's been submitted. You can set actions and triggers to send messages or webhooks based on things like answers to certain questions, endings, and even partial responses. So let's see it in action. Here we have a form that helps us qualify leads with a few simple questions. If you want to send a follow-up message to respondents, it's important that you have either an email question or a contact info question to capture the email address that you'll send the message to. Let's see how to set up messages so that we don't miss out on the hottest leads. First, make sure your form is published. Then head on over to the Workflows tab. On the side panel, under Messages, I'll click the plus sign. This is where I can set up any follow-up messages that I want to send out. When you click the plus sign, a new trigger is automatically created for you. I'll click here to rename this one Hot Leads to keep track of it easily. The first step is deciding on the trigger. The trigger is the condition that needs to be met for a message to be sent. If you choose any full response, that means that a notification will be sent every time this form gets fully submitted. Or if you've set up a partial submit point in your form, you can also choose to send a notification even when a response is only partially submitted. If you want to set the trigger based on which ending a respondent lands on, you can select one here. Keep in mind that if you want to send a different message for each ending, you'll have to add a unique trigger and action for each one. If you're using scoring or segmentation in your form, you can also send a follow-up message based on that condition. The other option is to set a trigger based on a respondent's answer to one or more questions, meaning it meets one or more conditions. Let's try that. Let's add a condition for when their answer to question two, how urgent is your project, is greater than or equal to four. Then let's add another condition for when their answer to question three, how much is your budget, is over $10,000. This means that those with an urgent project and a large budget, so our hottest leads, will trigger this message. Click save and you're set. Now we'll set the action. The action is what happens once the trigger conditions have been met. Here's where you can choose to notify respondents, yourself, or both when the form is submitted. Here you'll see the options to send an email, deliver a webhook, or send a message to a Slack channel or contact. First, we'll choose to notify ourselves since this is a hot lead that we don't want to miss out on. We'll add the sales team to notify them too. After you click continue, you can tailor the body of the email and add answers to any questions in your form that you want to highlight. You can also add enrichment data or URL parameters to your email if you're using either of those features. Click Save and that action is set. Next, let's set an action for respondents. We'll add another action and this time select Send an email to respondents. In this case, their email address is pulled from the contact form question. Depending on your plan, You'll also see the option to change the email address that respondents will receive this message from. Just click here and you'll see the option to add and authenticate with Gmail. And just to note, at this time, we only offer Gmail authentication. Once authenticated, you'll be able to choose your from email from the drop down here and below you can change who their reply gets sent to. When you hit continue, again you can tailor the subject and body of the email and recall information to personalize it a bit more. Click save and you're set. Now you and only your hottest leads will receive a notification email every time they hit submit on this form. And one final note, to edit or delete a trigger or action, just click on it to see the option to edit or delete. Follow up. 
with type form.